Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you a week three NFL matchup between the New York Jets and the Miami Dolphins. Now, the Jets found out last week that Mark Sanchez is really an NFL quarterback. All you have to do is allow him to throw the football. You drafted him to be a quarterback, let the boy throw. The boy can throw the football down the field with some effectiveness, and he does have that moxie and mental toughness that you need, number one, to play in New York, but to play in the NFL. So continue to allow Sanchez to throw the football, and you see the running game is going to open up that much that much better than it did in weeks, in weeks prior. So that's number one. Two, offensively, you want to attack these outside linebackers for the Miami Dolphins. Make these guys play coverage and see how effectively they cover. Yes, they can get after the quarterback. Yes, they can play the run on the way to the quarterback, but can they cover? That's the matchup. That's up to Keller and these running backs out of the backfield to make plays in the pass game. Now, defensively, what you should do is turn up the heat on Chad Henney. Henney is a guy that has a strong arm. He can beat the blitz, but he's not as accurate as you would like, so you will get some opportunities to make some big plays. Now, you don't know if Reefus is going to be back there with the hamstring issue, but the good thing about it, you only have to worry about that one deep target and that's Brandon Marshall. So that you should be able, uh, be able to effectively take away the passing game if you're able to get pressure on Henny. Now you look at the Dolphins. Turnovers, turnovers, turnovers. You almost lost that game against the Vikings. Protect the football. Respect the football. And you should be able to have some success. Two things you got going for you that I really, really love about the Dolphins. You're aggressive on defense. And you can run the football from anywhere on the field. So you have to maintain that against a team like the Jets. You know they're going to come with the pressure. You face the pressure each and every day in practice, so you're skilled in blocking it. So you should, have, you should have a big day running the football against this Jets defense. Now on the defensive side of the football, you want to force Sanchez to lock in on a target. If he thinks he has the ability to read the coverages, he's going to step back in that pocket and sit there and scan the field. Force him into some missed throws by bringing the blitz, disguising your blitz. Don't just come from one angle, come from all over the field, even though he should be as skilled as Henny is in picking up the blitz. But that's one thing defensively you want to do. Man up on these wide receivers. You have some big physical corners. Like you were able to take out the Vikings wide receivers, I think you can man up on these guys out here with Edwards and also uh, Cotri. You have some talented cornerbacks that can help, help out. I'm going with the Dolphins in this game. The Dolphins have a, all the pieces that you need to be successful in football. They have a sound running game. They're able to make timely plays in the passing department. They can get after you in the run defense department. And they also have cornerbacks that can make plays on wide receivers. Sanchez looked good, but he's improving as a young quarterback. I think the Dolphins will win this game. Just coming on the road. Dolphins have a lot going for them and trying to stay a leg up in that division. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL. Or you can visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football, football game plan.